This is the largest floating photovoltaic park in Europe. It's a relatively new idea, but there are good reasons for floating solar panels on a lake. I'm here at Alcueva Dam in the south of Portugal. The dam plays an essential role in the region's water supply. Agriculture in particular benefits from this water here in one of the driest parts of Portugal. The reservoir extends over 250 square kilometers and contains four cubic kilometers of four trillion liters of water. Since 2022, the dam has been expanded with around 12,000 solar panels. And that really is an ingenious idea. Why? Well, because there's space. The lake is flat. There's nothing in the surrounding area that casts a shadow. And most importantly, the space doesn't compete with farming or residential areas. So if there were no solar panels here, there'd only be water. A second major advantage, there's already a power connection here. The dam feeds electrical energy into the grid and naturally requires an adequate connection. This is not the case everywhere and usually these cables have to be laid when solar panels are installed in an open area. Everything's already in place here. In addition, there's an exciting symbiosis between the dam and the solar panels. The efficiency of a solar panel decreases with increasing temperature. The reason for this is the shrinking band gap in the silicon. This is particularly important as it can get up to 40 degrees Celsius on some days here in southern Portugal. The module temperature on land then rises above 80 degrees Celsius and the panel may lose up to 15% of its performance. Above the water, however, the panels are cooled and the temperature doesn't rise as much. Effectively, a solar park on land would need 5% more panels for the same annual yield. That's about 600 solar panels saved here at the same time. The modules protect the water from the sun. The less water evaporates, the more can be used for agriculture or electricity generation. If you look at this small island on the massive reservoir, the power generation seems like a metaphorical drop in the ocean. However, the energy fed into the grid is nothing to sneeze at. The solar modules only generate 1% or a hundredth of the dam's energy output but they also only take up a 10,000th of the surface area. To put it in another way, if only 1% of the reservoir, so 2.5 of the 250 square kilometers, were covered with solar, the annual yield from solar and the dam would be the same. There are already plans to increase the solar area as the combination of solar and hydropower has proved successful here.